Warning, this backrooms level is unlike any other one that you've ever heard of, seen, or thought about. So keep an open mind when listening to it. It also involves alien abduction. So, yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I am your five-eyed host, Brugly, And in this video, I have a very cool backrooms level to show you. This level is called the ASCII code, or level 1000010. This level is a custom level made by me, and I think it's a really trippy and thought-provoking level. It involves alien abduction or maybe even extraterrestrial knowledge and control of the back rooms. So without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So backrooms level ASCII code is classified as class astral because the level involves being in space with aliens. Uh, let me explain. The level is a very rare level to get to and it's not even known if it's a level per se because you can only get to it directly from reality. So instead of no clipping into level zero like someone normally would when they get sent to the backrooms, you can instead be sent here. This entire level takes place on some sort of advanced alien aircraft. Now, this aircraft has shiny clean hallways and huge labs and stuff like that, and big computer panels and buttons and stuff. You know the deal. The only problem is, it seems like it's not part of the backrooms and that you're not supposed to be here. And let me tell you why. So our basic understanding of the backrooms is that you can glitch out of the real world and be sent to the infinite landscape, which is the backrooms. But apparently, some other force has tapped into this no clipping ability, and that force is the greys, or more commonly known as aliens. Somehow, some way, they have figured out how to harness whatever wormhole technology teleports people normally to the backrooms, and they made it so you'll get teleported to their spacecraft instead of level zero. It's unknown if the aliens created the backrooms or if they simply just have a better understanding of it than we do, but, but either way, they can manipulate where you're going. So if you are unlucky enough to get sent here, you'll be greeted with empty shiny halls, large laboratories and observation rooms, and thousands of pods with animals and people inside of them. The people seem to be suspended in some sort of liquid, and the animals are frozen in tanks. All of the technology and languages seem to be very advanced compared to anything we have. The craft also seems unmanned and has no aliens on board. And it looks like everything's fully automated and it doesn't require a physical person to work. When you wake up from no clipping out of reality, you'll be inside of this lab. Now this lab is empty except for one robotic arm that's hovering above you. This arm seems to be studying you and taking measurements of your height and weight and so on. Now you can leave the lab and walk around the entire spacecraft with no issue, but seeing some of the humans and animals and tanks might cause you to be spooked out or even give you anxiety. Or who knows, maybe the fact that you're in space or that you just no clipped and glitched out of your reality, that might give you anxiety too. I don't know. The main room on this ship is where the biggest control panel is, and the biggest glass windshield of the craft is there too. This room has thousands of buttons and knobs that you can press, but there are two that stand out. One button is red and one is green. And these buttons are obvious and you can't miss them. They're also glowing. It's unknown what happens when you press the green button and no one knows where it takes you because all contact with the person who has pressed it has been lost. But if you do press the red button, you will instantly be knocked out and fully unconscious for an unknown amount of time. When you wake up from being knocked out, you'll be in your own room in the real world. Yes, your own room. This is not a joke or prank. This is the real life. You'll be in your room. But you will feel very strange, almost like you just gained a huge amount of knowledge. And that's when it starts. Out of nowhere, you'll have the sudden urge to find a piece of paper and start writing down a series of squares and lines as well as zeros and ones. You'll write this code for two to three pages until you stop. And then you'll feel normal again, although you'll be shaken up from the experience. 
this is what the code looks like when you're done. Now, if you're smart, you recognize that this is the ASCII binary code and it translates as follows, quote, imminent threat soon upon Earth's leaders and civilizations. Expose and disband hidden knowledge to all citizens. Employ safe and controlled joint study to all minds. Progression imperative for combined survival, end quote. Now, this has happened to three different people so far, and each of them has written the exact same thing in ASCII code once they wake up. No one knows what it means. No one knows the implication. It could be that the aliens are trying to contact us in some way or trying to warn us, and they thought the easiest way would be taking people from our reality and telling them to write this code down, or maybe they thought that we could do something about it. I don't know but they might be trying to warn us or it could be something else entirely. The reason this is considered a backrooms level because it is accessed by no clipping out of reality, just like the backrooms is. So it's assumed that it's tied to that somehow. Now people that get sent to this alien level have no contact with Meg or any other backrooms related officials. And the only reason we know about them glitching there is because when they get back to reality, they tell the same story to military officials that they were just walking along and they glitched through the ground and ended up here, which we just so happen to know is the exact same technology that leads people to the backrooms. Like I said, as of right now, we have no idea if this is a backrooms level or something else entirely, but it is cryptic and it is crazy and you know clip there. So we're going to call it a backrooms level. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this level was different than most levels people make, and it kind of seems outlandish, but I think it's pretty cool to think about, and I think it's a nice change of pace from the usual Backrooms level. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching the channel and watching till the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you go check below for any links you need, Discord, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And don't forget that we're on the road to 500k here on the Burgly channel, and when I get there, I'm going to be buying the full Backrooms outfit, doing live streams, going out in public, doing photo shoots with it. You guys are going to see me doing so much stuff in that outfit. Just help me get to 500k by subscribing. It's free. You can unsub at any time. I think you'll like your stay. Seriously, thank you all so much for everything. Make sure to check out Tugly and Spoogly as well. I'm uploading four times a week on Tugly, so if you guys want more of me, go over there and check it out, as well as Spoogly. Thank you so much for all your support across all the channels. I'm so excited for everything I have planned. I have literally so much planned, and I'm really excited for you all to see it. Also, if you're still watching the video, comment Alien Brugly because the first comment that is commented with that keyword will get pinned. So if you want your comment pinned, comment that. And I thank you for watching until the end because that means you're a real one and I appreciate the real ones. All right, now I'll see you later. Also, don't forget to check out Spoogly. Now, that's it for self-promo. Thank you for everything and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.